One of our favorite things about the Action Army AAP01 is the quickly growing aftermarket with many different companies offering parts that can improve functionality and add personalization. This particular AAP is a staff build by one of our showroom staff and we wanted to take a closer look to see what's possible with the AAP. Though the red parts certainly look a bit flashier than the plain black stock parts, each upgrade he chose offered more than just a visual upgrade and on the range we were impressed at the performance you can extract from these new Ruger based pistols. Don't get me wrong, none of these upgrades are necessary, and if you're just starting out, save the extra money for gear and extra magazines. The AAP Bone Stock is an excellent pistol, but if absolute performance is what you're after, let's take a closer look. Starting off with the CNC Magwell by Titanium Tactical Industry, these flared up blocks of metal became wildly popular in the era of high kappa race guns. The basic concept is the shape guides the magazine into the magwell, allowing for smoother mag swaps which is vital for a quick time. To make full use of this magwell, you might want to file down and bevel the inside edge of the AAP grip, but another less talked about benefit is the top of the magwell provides a really nice groove for your hand to sit. Having a consistent landmark ensures that your grip on the pistol is the exact same every time, and in practice this one feels really good in the hands. One of the common complaints on the Ruger based pistols is the bolt can be a bit difficult to get a grip on as there's not a lot of surface area compared to a full slide. Just like real competition Rugers, enhanced charging handles makes it a lot easier to crack the gun even in darkness or with slippery hands. Another big plus is this one made by Titanium Tactical relocates the selector switch to a dial at the rear and there are selector markings milled into the charging handle itself. We think it's a cool look and depending on your field, the ability to quickly change fire mode might be super useful. Attached to the bolt inside the upper is a lightweight aluminum bolt, this one made by Kaukau. Kau. It's a drop-in design replacing the standard polymer bolt and the entire reciprocating mass, including the enhanced charging handle, is actually 33 grams lighter than stock. A lighter bolt or slide means a snappier feel with less felt recoil and the added durability from the 7075 CNC aluminum. Of course on this one you get the nice red color matching as well. On the front of the gun he threw on the G&G MF106T tracer unit with muzzle flash which we've looked at in a previous video. Perhaps one of the most convenient tracer options for the AAP, not only does it fit the look really nicely, you can easily adjust the settings without disassembling the unit. To round it off, he replaced the standard Glock trigger with a titanium tactical flat trigger. This removes the trigger safety, which personally I'm not a big fan of anyway, and adds a nice textured front face for your trigger finger. My favorite feature is the over travel adjustment grub screw. It's easy to tune up the travel so it's just far enough to clear the brake and nothing more. It makes the trigger feel much more exact, making double taps a dream. The AAP trigger is already very good and this one makes it even better. So if I could choose just one upgrade, this one would probably be it. All said and done, the entire built pistol, including tracer unit, is 679 grams, which is actually only 12 grams more than the stock at 667. It's pretty cool considering the tracer unit itself adds 38 grams. On the range, the first thing we notice is the lighter recoil impulse with that lightweight bolt, and double taps are about the cleanest you'll find on any airsoft pistol. This is even further improved with the weight of the tracer on the front end. Accuracy of course is more or less unchanged from stock, but felt accuracy is a different story and the combination of all the upgrades definitely makes this AAP feel more confidence inspiring on the range. Quick follow up shots are just so effortless and the flat trigger and short travel is very easy to fall in love with. All the parts added together certainly aren't cheap and for nearly three times the price versus stock, I don't think anyone would say it shoots three times as well. Again, the stock AAP is already one of the nicest shooting airsoft pistols on the market, so it's definitely worth enjoying as it is. But if you want to bring that performance to the next level, it's really nice to see there is a thriving aftermarket backed by many reputable brands. 
We're really excited to see these Ruger based designs take on the high Kappas and Glocks both on the field and at shooting competitions. We think these guns have a lot of potential. As always, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you feel like it and I'll catch you on the next one.